Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Saturday, June the 16th. It's the week of the third Sunday after Pentecost, and week four in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 23, Galatians chapter 6, verse 11 through 18. And now sing with me the final verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. All praise to you, eternal God, and Jesus Christ, our Savior. Holy Spirit, three in one, our light and our salvation. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, you are my shepherd, I shall not want. Alleluia. Psalm 23, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, you are my shepherd, I shall not want. You make me to lie down in green pastures, and you lead me beside the still waters. You restore my soul, you lead me in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. And though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and staff comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup runs over. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in your house forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are my shepherd. I shall not want. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 6, beginning at verse 11. See what large letters I make when I am writing in my own hand. It is those who want to make a good showing in the flesh that try to compel you to be circumcised, only that they may not be persecuted for the cross of Christ. Even the circumcised do not themselves obey the law, but they want you to be circumcised so that they may boast about your flesh. May I never boast about anything except the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. For neither circumcision nor uncircumcision is anything, but a new creation is everything. And for those who will follow this rule, peace be upon them and mercy and upon the Israel of God. From now on, let no one make trouble for me, for I carry the marks of Jesus branded on my body. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, 
our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And now let us pray the prayer of St. Francis together. O Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. And grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned and it is in dying that we are born to eternal love. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.